And this is a series of acrylic paintings, uh, 18 by 24, uh, called Sally's Surprise. Uh, something I started in, um, in 2000 as a celebration of the 50th anniversary of my puberty. Uh, Sally's me at the age of 12 or 14, either one or the other. As a girl this time. These are events that never happened. They're pure invention. And they take place uh, in Binghamton, my hometown. Sally's look is based on my older sister, Pat, but everything she's doing is more like me at the age of 12. There was a mom and pop's grocery store at the end of our street, and they had a young daughter in her 20s, and I was their paper boy. This is called being hypnotized by cleavage at the age of 12. In 1950, sex was pretty secret. It wasn't so public as it is today, uh, visually. So everything came as a complete shock and surprise. Sally uses a public toilet and is surprised. The invasion of the leg from the next stall. What can that mean? Thank you. 
When I was a child, I was a Catholic and went to confession. And in 1950, uh, girls and women had to wear something on their head if they were inside the Catholic Church. So a common thing was to for girls to pin a handkerchief, a small handkerchief, onto their hair. And that's what you're seeing. And the woman and and Sally. of light If you got caught in a quick summer storm, uh, rain shower, it was common to run up on somebody's front porch and wait it out. This happens to be a abandoned house. Soon Sally is joined by a woman <clears throat> who got caught in the rain and got wet. So she took her wet clothes off. And Sally is surprised. Uh, when I was 17, I, I bought this 1939 Chevy Coupe, and uh, Sally is noticing it parked in front of her house. a great car. It wasn't that beat up. I just want to make a distinction between my old age and her being 15, 14. 
So when she looks into it to see what it's all about, she sees my false teeth and my glasses and my coffee cup. So in effect, she's meeting me, though she is me. She's meeting the future, I would say. Now the car, that was in Binghamton, now the car is in New York City where I live now and seen from the other side of the car on 28th Street in the middle of Manhattan. Sally is coming up my front stairs as me. And three versions of her inside. Climbing, climbing the stairs to my loft home studio. It's on the top floor of a four-story building, old brownstone. Now the Chevy is magically flying and there's no driver. It's on its own. Landing on my roof right above my head. So Sally gets in the passenger side. It's the Empire State Building in the background, which I could see from my roof. And the car drives off the roof. The question is, does it fly again or does it crash? I think it flies. <laughs> 